Question 12. Related rates of change here. But there's two things changing. R's changing and the height's also changing. Find the rate of change of volume when the radius is this and the radius is that and it gives you the rate of change of them right. So it's a cylinder. So you've got this expression that's going to be manipulated. Now the point about this is everything's changing. In other words, V, R and H are all functions of time. So when I want to find the rate of change of V, when I want dV by dt, I'm going to have to differentiate everything with respect to time. That's just like a function of a function. But since I've got two separate ones, <coughs> which are both functions, which are both uh, dependent on time, then I've got a product. Well, pi is going to be constant. I'll just take that to the front. I've got the product rule to differentiate, in other words. So, differentiating the first part, that would be 2 times the thing. That's r, just like you would do y squared. If you're differentiating that, it'd be 2 times the y, and then the actual differential of y with respect to the variable you wanted. It's the same here, except it's a t. So you've got 2r times the derivative of r with respect to t times the h, plus, leave the r squared alone. Then you've got the derivative h, which is just 1, times the derivative of h with respect to t. So that's the expression I've got. And then it tells me various things. It says dr by dt, the radius is decreasing. So I know dr by dt is negative because it's decreasing, 0 0.002, I'll just call that two hundredths. I know that the height is increasing, so dh by dt is 0 .00, 0 0.01, which is positive one hundredths, at a time where the radius is 0 0.6, I'll just put it onto fraction, six tenths, I'll call that three fifths, maybe I should have left it tenths to match all the rest of it, and the height is two metres. So it's just a case of put that lot in. So we've got pi times 2 times r is 3 fifths. The rate of change of r was negative 2 hundredths. h was 2. r was 3 fifths. I'll have to square it. And the rate of change of h was a hundredth. That's my expression. So I've got pi times. Now it's just a case of sort of all that arithmetic. Well, that's a 500 for the denominators. The tops, I've got 2, 4, 8, 24, but that's negative. This part, I've got 9 over 25, so I've got 9 over 2500, and that's a positive. So I've got pi times, I'm going to take that away now, just make it all over 2500, all over 2500, so that was plus 9, well I'll just put that first, so I can put that minus afterwards, but I've got to do 5 times that, so that's 22 over minus 120, so it's a negative overall. So I've got negative, and that's 111. Negative 111 over 2,500 pi. Well, that's what I get anyway. And that must be, it's in metres, metres cubed per second for the rate of change of volume, I think anyway. Right, that was question 12.